Hello, YouTube. The Life of James here. I have my assistant here. His name is Lionel. Um, and uh, I wanted to talk to you today about, I'm doing an unboxing video of a knife, and I'm going to talk to you about different types of knives a little bit. Uh, Lionel, go in the top drawer and get your fold-out knife, please. Um, anyway, first of all, I do have a Benchmade Infidel here. Give it to me, please. I do have a Benchmade Infidel here. It's been lightly, well not lightly, it's been really used. As you can tell, uh, it's missing a screw down here. And, but it, it works, it's just fine. It's still worth the 400 and something dollars that you pay for it, but um, all in all, good overall knife. Um, I recommend it if that's what you wanna do but I have better ones. So this is a out the front, okay? That's what this is. I got rid of my Benchmade Infidel and got a couple of things. Oh, oh, um, one of them's not here yet, but I will be doing a review on that, but the other one is. So I sold my Benchmade Infidel, um, and uh, my problem is that after this was highly used like this, the color and such is coming off. I don't know if these other offerings are, uh, will do the same thing probably. Um, and then, so that is now at the front. This is called a Italian stiletto. It's made by, made by Frank B. Uh, Frank something or other, B. Um, this is uh, a horn type thing that goes on top. It does have a safety on and off here. That's what this is. Um, and you just take your fingernail and pull it up to where it can't engage. And then you take your fingernail. And this is 24, or this is gold plated. I don't know what gold it is. Um, these, this gets really, really dirty real quick. So how you, how the difference is between this and this is this is a me mechanism you push up and the blade comes out the top and you push down and the blade goes back. This is a button on this and the blade will flip up from the side and let, I will, oh, well, <laughs> let's do that again. Yeah, these are finicky, okay, when it, when it comes to these. You have to hold it firm and make sure that it comes out all the way. That that These are more along the lines that you would see in uh, The Godfather. I know they use these a couple of times. Mine is a shorter blade than another one that, um, another couple that we do have. Uh, but again, these are made by Frank B. In Italy. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it says Italy on it. Probably not. It's being stupid. But anyway, these are handcrafted in Italy, and overall, if you wanted to carry one of these, that's cool. Um, I think that depending on the attire, and by the way, so if you push that up, you won't be able to engage it. So we'll do it again, and it comes right out. I don't know the blade length on this. I know, again, this is a shorter blade length than some of the others. I don't know the steel on this or anything. But I do know that this is very, this was, I think the gun, the knife store, 150 bucks or so. So it wasn't too cheap, but it wasn't too um, expensive. My only issue is the tip on this is not a tip. It, it feels like it's, no, it feels like it's just not sharp. Uh, I'll probably get it fixed, but... This is an Itali original, normal Italian stiletto that they used back in the 30s and 20s um, for hand-to-hand -hand combat. This is what they used. Um, and then in order to close it, there's a two, this one and that one, and you did you get the the one part the one part here on this side. Why is it not focusing? There it goes. So you get the one part on one side, and you push it down like that, and then you can disengage and it's kind of tight to get in there so I just do that and you can hear it click um, so that's an Italian stiletto I love this thing but I would not use it for anything because it looks so pretty um, except to display maybe and again the gold one that I got it does get really dirty real quick so you just want to make sure that uh, it's closed okay and so that is a outside push button one. Then you have the regular cheapos, the regular little little ten bucks special. 
Um, and the, this just comes out like that. Um, this is from uh, <laughs> Bryce Canyon, Utah. Uh, and then to disengage it, you have a press here and a disengage the knife. Uh, it has a screw you can tighten up here. I guess if you really needed like a knife or something, I mean, it, it is locked. It's not going to break or anything. There's a little bit of wiggle room, but other than that, it's fine. So, um, I mean, it is what it is. You get what you pay for. Ten bucks. Um, so we have those. So I'm going to push this down this way here. So you, as you can see, um, we have the stiletto. We have the regular out the side with no button mechanism. And then we have the... Uh, Bench made infidel. So this is the thing that everyone came here for. These are my. These are. Oh, yeah. Thanks. That's why I have helpers. These are Microtech. As I said, Trodons. When I did, maybe I didn't say. I've had to redo this video twice, three, four times. Um. The e partial serrated. So the total serrated one is okay, but has a glass breaker on the front which the Infidel does not have. Um, the mechanism to get the blade to come out is on the side, which the Infidel has it on the, on the front. And it's kind of hard to do. I mean, it, it ain't going anywhere. So you just want to make sure that like it comes out. So there's the serrations. Um, I know that there are knockoffs of these, so make sure you're getting from a supplier that has these that are getting it directly from Microtech. Comparing these two, I like Microtech's better. I'm sorry. Um, Benchmade, it, you, you were a good knife. I mean, you are hella sharp and you do your job, but this feels much more substantial, the Combat Troodon, other than the Infidel. And the blades, to, the blade to me seems thicker on the Microtech. So, um, hmm? No. So, the Benchmade will run you for 450. Um, the Microtech Troodon, com this is the Combat Troodon, I'm sorry. The regular Troodon has a, has a, has a 3 inch blade, this has 3.8. I highly recommend the 3.8 inch blade because it goes. I think it, it goes well and is a good blade fit for the big handle. Um, this is around the same price as that one. I know I can get a Combat Trodon probably uh, cheaper than this without the serrations, of course. So when you do things like different blade types like the serrations or even color, that will also impact the price on the Microtech. And this was made in 11, 2019. This was a Christmas gift to my dad. Um, and because he liked his so much, he doesn't use it because he uses the Benchmade. I sold my Benchmade um, because I liked it so much. And I'll go put this on Grandpa's desk, please. Got my own. But the difference between his Combat Troodon DE Partial Serrated is mine is OD Green. That one was full black. Um, so it comes with this product manual since 1994. Uh, we'll put that back. Um, and it comes in this cool, but that, that's another thing. I don't like the way that these are handled, like that, uh, sent to you. Um, the box isn't just substantial. It's not very substantial. This is substantial. It has foam all, it's like a gun case, but for a knife. Um, comes in this cool package. No, not cool package, but... And here's the green one. OD Green. I'm a green person. Everybody knows that. And this is, again, this is partial serrated. And this was made in 3-2020. There are knockoffs. Again, there are knockoffs of these. So make sure you get one that is not a knockoff, that is from a reputable dealer that only sells Microtech stuff, or they are a reputable Microtech dealer. Mr. Knife Guy, where I got this and this, is a reputable dealer for all sorts of knives and including Microtech. And I highly recommend any Microtech you can get. I know that there's the Ultra something or other that's smaller than this. 
I know that these are these knives were prominent in the John Wick series movies. Uh, not this exact one, but he had a couple of others. I think he had a combat trode on and then an ultra tech um, as his backup or something. But he really didn't utilize them that much, but they're awesome. And I know that there's a continental, continental set that sells two knives and a pencil and a couple of coins. I didn't get it. I, w I, I, I should have, but I didn't. But anyway, this is the OD green one. Um, so uh, another thing I noticed is this thing, getting this to come out compared to this, this is much easier. Doesn't sound as cool though, huh? Yeah, this one, it's easier to get up and down to close than this, but this is brand new. It hasn't even been used. I think I carried it once. So, go give that to Grandpa. Um, but that's the, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another review on one of these here in about a week or so. Um, it's going to be another Microtech, but it's going to have the Hellhound blade, and it's going to be flat dark earth completely. And I will not use that for anything. That is going to be my bug out bag knife that I use for, you know, whatever. Oh, my shirt's coming up. Uh, that, that's what, and this will be my regular carry one. So I have started carrying this because I've already gotten the other one knife on order. So um, that's it about it. Uh, I know that the steel for 2020 is actually really good for these knives. They're actually a better quality steel in this than it is the Benchmade Infidel. Um, again, if anyone has any idea of what the, what the Frank B switchblades is, see, you got to really hold it. That's one thing I don't like about them is you have to really hold it in and make sure it comes out. But beautiful little stiletto, beautiful knife. Um, and so you need to make sure that when you have one of these, again, just hold it really well. Press the button with a little bit of force. Make sure it comes out. I mean, you pull this out and do that to somebody, they're going to be like, holy shit. <laughs> what? 1930s or what? Uh, I do have a, have a fedora, and I do like 1930s attire. And if I ever get the full set, I will be carrying this with it. Uh, top drawer over there. Other than that, it is a display piece. Uh, you can carry those, though. That's what you have. Carry it. And you can carry it. No, I, yeah, in the same one. Uh, and you can carry $10 special. Uh, three people who get these types of knives, these out the front, these kick-ass ones, that's just awesome, are knife enthusiasts. And I've been, care I've been having knives for a long time. I will be doing reviews on old-school knives that I have in my possession. Um, I may even do a sword. I know I have Narsil sword from Lord of the Rings when it first came out. No. Um, but that's it. So this is the Benchmade, or sorry, Microtech Combat Troadon. Partial serrated. I will carry this for a long time. Uh, I know people are concerned about out the front, so they're not going to deploy. I've never had a deploying issue uh, with any out the front knife. Actually, there was a guy who took one of these. He set it on fire. He, he, he put it into a piece of wood and pounded it with a hammer through the wood. <laughs> And he had to jerk it and get it out. He set the whole thing on fire. He um, mashed it in dirt. And all he did was, when he when he was going to make it deploy, when he mashed it in dirt, he went like, he got it up, he went like this, and it deployed. Um, it, it was the coolest torture test I've seen on a knife. And I, I highly recommend you watch that. I'm, I don't know his name, but you can find him on YouTube. I found him. Um, and then the Microtech. That's Microtech. The knife I'm getting with the Hellhound blade is called the Signature Series. It will be signed here, and it will have a different... This is like the... Uh, so it will be signed here. Instead of saying Microtech, it'll be signed. And then on the front, it'll have a little... No, a dagger type thing instead of the claw. And that will be my bug out one. All right, so check back for a video of that, of the Hellhound. It's going to be in Flat Dark Earth um, with the Hellhound blade. And so they come in this cool box, and if you don't want to carry it around, you can always seal it like that. I mean, it's, and it's in the plastic, so it's not going to get ruined in there. All right, thanks, YouTube. I will catch you later.